Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Yes, we are back at it. We're going to have a little bit of fun. So today we're going to dive into um, just seven bourbon bars that I think you absolutely have to visit. They are um, my favorites, first and foremost, at least of the ones I've been to. Obviously, I've not been to every whiskey bar in America, but of the ones I went to, I was thinking about like the, the top seven. These are my seven. So I'm going to tell you the reason why. Cool? But before we dive into that, couple uh, let's call it a couple updates. Number one, I just want to say thank you for uh, helping me to get to 17,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. I appreciate the support from each and every one of you out there. Um, also, from a patron standpoint, wow, we had a ton of new patrons in the last couple of weeks. So huge shout out to my good friend Connor R, Brandon R, Dustin N, William H, C, J, P, Robert W, Rivet G, my buddy Ron, Rich A, Michael C, Michael E, love that, <laughs> Michael C and Michael E, uh, John K, uh, Dan W, as well as Aaron O. So thank you all for the support. Um, thank you, I really do appreciate it. Like we say, you know, honestly, we like to have a little bit of fun uh, here in the uh, in the Judge uh, family, as we like to refer to it. So thank you for all the support, all the love, as well as thank you for all my other patrons as well. I try to have a little bit of fun, you know, between different things such as barrel picks, which I try to bring as many of my patrons with me as possible on our barrel picks, uh, happy hours, you name it. Right now we're doing a March Madness contest. Um, I even entered my, for myself as well, and uh, the judge is at the bottom. So obviously I cannot um, pick <laughs> college basketball teams, unfortunately. So hey, the winner of that one's going to win a, a free bottle. So uh, good luck to whoever wins the uh, the March Madness contest for the judge family. All right, so we're talking about barrel picks, and before I dive into the bars, these are two barrel picks that I did recently that are still available. So this is a, um, a Hard Truth Sweet Mash Rye Whiskey Cast Strength. It is, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. This is, by the way, a combo pick, so you'll see here on the side, a little while, uh, which, by the way, a really cool logo. My buddies uh, created Andy and Todd, so this is a joint pick with my buddies Andy and Todd from 21090. Check out those guys, as well as my good friend uh, Chris from Bourbon of the Week. Check out Chris as well. So we did a Connect Three, so uh, that, that was a really cool one. Lots of fun with this one. This one was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get a quick sip right now. Mmm. Woo! That is just apples all day long. So damn good. And then next, did a uh, solo bell pick here, Middle West Spirits. This one is our, or my rather, Dark Pumpernickel Rye Whiskey, uh, cast strength coming in 126.92 proof. Folks, I've done a lot of barrel picks in the last couple of years. This by far, at least the bottles, barrels that we have that are available as of right now, my absolute favorite. Look at the color of this. I mean, look at that color. It is so damn good it really is so shout out to the middle west uh, team for letting us pick a phenomenal barrel that one is amazing so we still have some bottles available uh if you're interested go ahead and check me out over on patreon if you want to become a patron and support the channel and get access to both of these especially this one that is amazing got a little bit left all right so talking about just in my opinion seven bourbon bars that I just flat out love. And I love them, actually each one, in different for different reasons. So I'm gonna give you seven, and we like to have fun whenever I do a list. I always I try to always add in a an asterisk at the end. Is that fair? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the seven, and uh, again, I'll explain high level why I like each one. Cool? All right. So coming in the number one, and these, by the way, are not ranked in order of my preference. Let me just say that first and foremost. So, but the number one spot, when I think about just how big this whiskey bar is in terms of their uh, the selection, the amount of whiskey you can get from you know current whiskeys or to older, more dusties, you name it, just the amount of whiskeys that they have on the like the shelves and so forth. There, I don't know if there's a better bar out there from a selection perspective and the amount of items you can select from than Jack Rose uh, down in DC. Jack Rose in DC. If you've ever, if you've never been to DC before, and you're making a special trip to DC for some other reason, make sure you catch an Uber, head over to Jack Rose. I'm telling you, the selection, the amount of whiskeys that they have available at Jack Rose, it'll blow your mind. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. I met up there with some patrons, and we had a blast. Uh, actually, that's actually what led to this pick. I'd never had Hard Truth uh, going back until I had it at Jack Rose. 
and I end up doing a barrel pick. That's how much I end up loving uh, Hard Truth Whiskey. But check out uh, Jack Rose down in DC. Number one. All right, coming to the number two spot. Um, so I'm a big fan of this this uh, this liquor store that also has a very cool hip whiskey bar in the back of it. So if you're ever down in Florida, check out Dive Wine and Spirits down in Sarasota. Uh, the owner there, Brock. Brock is such a cool guy. In his ba the back of the shop, he has this really cool uh, whiskey bar. I flat out love that spot. The family and I, we're taking a vacation later this year to uh, Dive Wine and Spirits, and you better believe, I'm sorry, we're taking a vacation to Sarasota, but you better believe the judge is gonna be going to Dive Wine and Spirits because it's just that cool. So make sure you check out Dive Wine and Spirits if you ever go to Florida. Cool liquor store with a nice bar in the back. I love just the, it's just a hip little place. Not that big, but a cool place to get a good pour. All right, that's number two. Number three. I love this spot because when you go to Louisville, you want to have a chance to sip some Dusties, right? Some whiskeys that's from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. You want to have a chance to sip some Dusties. Who doesn't, right? So you must, it's a must, and I mean must. You must check out Neat Bourbon Bar in Louisville. Neat is such a cool little spot. I mean, it is, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I mean, it is, honestly. It's a cool little spot. It's not that big. You kind of walk in, kind of gives you like that, um, I don't know, like a 1950s banker, you know, these deep leather chairs. Such a cool little spot. And if you want some Dusties, check out Neat Bourbon Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. And the pours are honestly not that expensive, especially for some Dusties. They really aren't. So I love that as well. That's number three. And by the way, they also sell Dusties there too, which is pretty cool. That's number three. All right, number four. So this one reminds me of uh, Cousin Nita because it's right there on the other side of, uh, not in Ohio, but right over in uh, Bellevue, Kentucky. It's a must. You must check out Party Source over in Bellevue, Kentucky. So Party Source is one of the largest liquor stores in, in America. But when you go all the way to the back, their new bourbon bar that they just renovated, it is flat out oh, epic. It is flat out epic, let me tell you. Such a cool spot. Mrs. Judge and I went there. Um, we had a blast, we had some whiskey, we were hanging out, and uh, it was just, it was the spot to be. So if you're anywhere near Cincinnati, Ohio, or that you know Cincinnati slash um, Kentucky kind of borderline, make sure you check out Party Source over in Bellevue, Kentucky. And you might as well go right next door to New Riff. New Riff on the third floor uh, has a really cool bar that they um, recently installed as well. So make sure you check out New Riff as well, right next door to Party Source. All right, coming in the number five spot. So this is a spot where, to me, I would say it's a must go if you're doing like the whole, let's call it, you know, Bourbon Kentucky Trail, right? The Bourbon Bar at Barstown Bourbon Company, it's just such a cool place. I, I don't think there's any other distillery out there that has a bourbon bar like Barstown Bourbon Company. The cool thing about it is that, you know, unlike many of the distilleries where they only uh, hold and, you know, you can only buy, get pours of their whiskey, not at Barstown Bourbon Company. You can get everything. The wall, it goes up like... 20, 30 feet, super high, super cool. So make sure you check out the bourbon bar at Bar Sound Bourbon Company. Great food and a great whiskey bar at the same time. Can't beat it. That's a win-win in my opinion. All right, now the last two, before we get to the asterisk, the last two, I gotta bring in local, right? So if you've ever heard of the whole Maryland Heritage Series, it was a combination of two liquor stores in Maryland coming together. This is one of the bottles. So we're gonna talk about bourbon bars. There is a place called Drug City in Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, Drug City. It is a liquor store. It's a drug store. And then they also have a very small, like a 50s, 60s kind of a themed uh, little mini diner. Yes, food. They serve food inside of a drugstore and a liquor store on the back end. They call the little diner all the way in the back. It's very, very small. They call it the fountain so make sure you check out the fountain go to drug city it's a cool little spot um they sell not only all their own barrel picks but they also have a full bar and their bar their whiskeys top of the line items as well all at a reasonable price you can't go wrong you can get great food you can get some medicine and you can get your liquor all at drug city literally you can do it all at drug city super cool spot all right Last but not least, before we get to the asterisk, so I got to bring it home to my state, the state of Delaware. 
Uh, one of my favorite whiskey bars in the state of Delaware. It's a place where you can get great burgers and great whiskey all at the same time. Must check out in Wilmington, Delaware, the Farmer and the Cow. Check out Farmer and the Cow. Such a cool spot. Um, Michael, one of the owners there, him and his team are doing a great job. They have a phenomenal selection of whiskey. And at the same time, again, get a great burger. Why not? All right. So, Judge, what is your asterisk and why? Oh, 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 oh. all right. Mm. Wow. These two are delicious. So, my asterisk is an asterisk because I've not actually been to this place. The other seven I've been to on numerous occasions. My asterisk, though, I've not been to, but I have a cool story. So, my asterisk is so I'm down in uh, my homecoming, um, out in my homecoming for my university, and I uh, meet this guy. He says he's a big bourbon guy. He ends up telling me that he owns a bourbon bar out in the state of Oregon. So, we look it up. He's showing me all the pictures. They have hundreds, if not thousands, of bottles. It looks like the cool place to be. I've had, actually had some friends who are out in Oregon, and they told me that spot is the place to be. So, the next time I travel out west to the state of Oregon, I'm going out and hanging out with the owner at a Multnomah Whiskey Bar in Oregon. So Multnomah Whiskey Bar in Oregon. Seems like it is a super cool place. And the owner, he's a super cool guy. So I can't wait to go check out his bar, check out uh, the state of Oregon as well, and have some whiskey. All right, friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, most important, salute. Take care. Before we get to the asterisk, the last two, I got to bring in local, right? As, as, as my man Biggie said, if I had to choose a coast, I have to choose the east. I live out there, so don't go there. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I threw that in. <laughs> Cut, come back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me come back.